10-day U.S. visit claimed that the opposition parties back in India are pretty well united. He said that the Congress was holding regular dialogue with all the opposition parties and added that a lot of work was happening in that regard. He, however, mentioned that some give and take was required but was confident of grand opposition alliance against the BJP at the centre. Rahul Gandhi made the remarks while speaking at the National Press Club in Washington, D.C. Earlier at his Stanford address, Rahul Gandhi had also claimed that the entire opposition party is struggling in India to fight the democratic fight. The, the opposition is pretty, pretty well united, and I think it's getting more and more uh, united. We're having conversations uh, with all the opposition, mm -hmm. um, you know, and I think quite a lot of good work is happening there. Okay. Yeah. There's, I mean, it's a complicated, it's a complicated discussion because uh, there are there are spaces where uh, we are competing also with the with the opposition. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit of give and take is required, but I'm confident that that will happen. Responding to a question on the Congress's alliance with the Muslim League in Kerala, Rahul Gandhi said that Muslim League is a completely secular party and that there is nothing non-secular about them. Union Minister Kiran Rajiju hit back at Rahul Gandhi, accusing the Muslim League of being a party responsible for India's partition. It says you were, you were talked about secularism and democracy while opposing the Hindu party BJP. However, Congress in Kerala has been in alliance with the Muslim party, Muslim League in Kerala, the state of the state from which you are, you were MP for more than, I'm sorry, the state you are the MP for more than 70 years. Muslim, <laughs> Muslim League is a completely secular party. Right, right. There's nothing, uh, there's nothing non-secular about the okay. Muslim League. He's now establishing that he can speak anything. And whenever he travels abroad, he crosses all limits and comes up with the most strange things or he will abuse India, Indian democracy, the Honorable Prime Minister, just for the sake of getting a few pats on his back, perhaps. Who knows what is his driving factor? Now he has called the Muslim League party a secular party, makes a statement that nobody in the world would believe. In India also, everyone understands what the Muslim League is about. It's not a secular party in that sense, on what basis it was formed. But Rahul Gandhi ji, makes any kind of pronouncement and it is the Congress party has to support him, has to praise him because he's one of their supreme leaders from the Nehru Gandhi family. What choice does the Congress party have? My colleague Niyamika is joining me on the phone line to get us more details. Well, it appears, Niyamika, that Rahul Gandhi is uh, not mincing his words abroad, but his uh, statement about Muslim League has not gone down too well with the government of the day as the BJP is hitting back saying that uh, calling Muslim League a secular party is where Rahul Gandhi is not objectively correct. That's absolutely right. As we have seen uh, that the BJP has sharpened its attack on the Congress leader Rahul Gandhi for his recent remarks uh, in which he had mentioned uh, that uh, the Muslim League is a secular party and there is nothing non-secular about IUML. And for that matter, now the BJP has started attacking the Congress party as well as the Congress leader Rahul Gandhi for that matter. However, uh, now the Congress party has also come in support of its leader as just now Jairam Ramesh has also tweeted a picture in which he has mentioned that Shama Prasad Mukherjee was in the league with the Muslim League in the government in Bengal when Gandhiji launched with India movement. SPM was singularly responsible for the partition of Bengal. While on the other hand, we had also spoken to the chief spokesperson of the Congress party, Pawan Khera, regarding this entire matter. And he has also taken a jibe, a sharp jibe at Prime Minister Narendra Modi as he has mentioned that such kind of comments have come only when your leader has a, has a degree of entire political science as he has mentioned that the BJP doesn't even know the difference between Pakistan and India's Muslim thing. And he has also given a reference of Shama Prasad Mukherjee in this entire matter. So we have seen that how the Congress Party has now come in support of uh, uh, leader uh, uh, Rahul Gandhi for the, for the matter because Rahul Gandhi has mentioned it very clearly that there is nothing non-secular about IUML. So for that matter, uh, now Pawan Khera has also mentioned about uh, uh, by saying that if Mr. Modi, if Prime Minister Narendra Modi doesn't have the knowledge, I may educate him. I know their obsession with Jinnah's Muslim League. So that is the kind of remark which, uh, which is now being made by the Congress leader uh, regarding this entire matter. 
Well, uh, thank you, Niamika, for getting us all those uh, details. We shall leave it at that for the moment. And we shift.